What's going on guys? So today we're going to head out to the Kelowna Fair thing market where there's lots of food, clothes, jewelry, and a multitude of other things that people sell you. Let's be real guys, I'm mostly there for the food. Alright, so, let's go. I'm going to say bye to the pup before we go, it's the most important thing besides food. Say hi Ziggy! <laughs> say hi! To the fair! So as per usual, we're gonna have to listen to the Adventure 2. Take him away downtown. Adventure 2 is a fair. So due to the time. So due to the high traffic volumes at this place, I actually parked in a different area way across the road at a park. You can see it, it's right over there. But the zoom probably didn't work all that well. Don't worry guys, we will be there real soon. Feels like it's so much closer than it is, but it's quite far away. Oh. Because if we don't help the animals, who will? There you go animals. Guys, here we are in the market. Food is everywhere. There's no point where you're not going to be able to get some kind of food. It's remarkable. Ooh, chicken. Fresh lemonade squeezed like right for you. Remember what I said about all the clothes and trinkets and stuff? Right here. Oh, check this out. See horses and stuff. What's going on guys? So we're at this tea. How, how do I say it? Cape to Hoop Tea from South Africa. It's awesome. Here's my little sample right here. Oh, it's actually really good. God, it looks really good. I always got like the coolest things here. And the neatest people. Kona has a lot of people who... Various different vegetables. I mean, almost every other place here is a vegetable place or a jam place or... Something like that, which is kind of cool to itself. I mean, who doesn't have vegetables and fruit? I mean, here, here's the one right here. Look at this eggplant. Oh, yeah, no. Mm, there's some more food. Wood designs, handcrafted. Uh, it looks like cutting boards almost. Let's get a closer look and figure out what they actually are. Okay guys, what I'm about to do next is going to surprise a lot of you. It's called Seriously Chocolate Tea, and it's essentially chocolate infused with tea. I know, right? I think we like collectively, with this business alone, solved all the world's problems. You gotta check this out. Okay guys, and this is a cold brew. Really, really strong chocolate flavor to this tea. And it's also vegan too, which is amazing. She's got vegan honey too. She's the only one in Canada. This is nuts. And I have sage. This woman has everything right with the world. I swear. I found the second most important thing. Why? Check this out. Okay, guys, so we're at Waterside. Waterside? You guys, we're at Waterside Winery. I'm about to try out this. Uh, how do I say the wine? Marshall Foch. Marshall Foch. I probably butchered that. But here it is. It's one of the driest that they have. And if you know me, you know that I like dry wine. Here we go. That's really good. At twenty dollars a bottle too. What? I might be buying that. Actually, I'm gonna be buying that. That's hundred percent happening. All right. So we did. We got a bottle of wine. It's right here. Okay. Well, it's in a bag, but it's the the really good wine. The Michael Folk or Michelle Folk or. I should probably learn how to pronounce it properly so I don't sound like a goof. So, basically, my footage kind of got corrupted there, and I can't show you my favorite guy at the market, my favorite yoga to eat, 
so that's kind of shitty and sucks, but whatever. I guess it's okay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this, make sure to like. Uh, make sure to subscribe. If you're seeing this on Facebook, make sure to like and follow me. Um, I upload every Wednesday, Saturday. I'm going to try to do daily once I actually head over to Asia and start doing a lot more things. And uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for that news. It's going to be sweet. As always, pip pip chip. Pip pip chip. That's a new one. Pip pip cheerio. Your life is free. You shouldn't be wasting time. Oh, won't you come with me?